Hello everybody, I'm Suman Matthews and today we will be discussing part 1 of a parabola. This is a part of Chronics grade 11 maths and we will be discussing equation of a parabola here. This channel has videos for grades 11, 12 maths, NATA aptitude test for architecture, engineering maths and the GRE quantitative section. So do consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell. So you get notifications each time a video is published or you can visit my page. Do send me your feedback and queries. Here we learn about the origin of a parabola, how a parabola is formed when a plane cuts a right circular cone. We also learn a few standard terms in conics namely axis, vertex and directrix. So basically you have a right circular cone here and this is a plane. If alpha is the semi-vertical angle of the cone and beta is the angle made by the plane with the axis, then when alpha equal to beta, the section of the cone cut by the plane is a parabola. So this will be the section of the cone which is cut by the plane. That is why it is derived from the word cone. Hence, a parabola is a conic section. So technically speaking, a parabola is the set of all points in a plane which are equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line. The fixed line is called the axis and the fixed point is called the focus. The line passing through the focus and perpendicular to the directrix is called the axis of the parabola. And the vertex of a parabola is the point where the axis meets the parabola. So this is a parabola, this is the axis of the parabola, this is the focus and this is a directrix. So the axis is perpendicular to the directrix. So if I take a point here, distance of this point from the axis equal to distance of this point from the directrix. What about this point here? It is the same. The same thing applies for any point on the parabola. And the vertex is the midpoint of the between P and F. Coming to questions, find the equation of the parabola having focus 3 minus 4 and directrix x plus y equal to 2. Also find the equation of its axis and the coordinates of its vertex. So we start with let p x y be any point on the parabola and what did we say earlier? Distance of p from the focus that is square root of x minus 3 the whole squared plus y plus 4 the whole squared equal to distance of p from the directrix. Now what is distance of p from the directrix? We use the straight line, the formula which we learn in straight lines. So it becomes x plus y minus 2 by root of 1 plus 1 that is root 2. So squaring both sides we get x minus 3 the whole squared plus y plus 4 the whole squared is x plus y minus 2 the whole squared by 2. What is the formula of distance of a point x1, y1 from ax plus by plus c equal to 0? It's ax1 plus by1 plus c by root of a squared plus b squared. Using that we get this. So now cross multiplying we get 2 into this equal to x plus y minus 2 the whole squared. Expand so you get what is a minus b the whole squared a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This is y squared plus 8y plus 16. What is a plus b plus c the whole squared? a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2bc minus 2ac. So we get multiplying you get 2x squared minus 12x and simplifying we get the final equation of the parabola is x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 20y minus 2xy plus 46 equal to 0. So this is the axis, this is a parabola and this is your focus and this is a directrix. Now the vertex is the midpoint of the focus and the directrix. So to find the equation of the axis, we need a point on the axis and its slope. So first we find the slope of the directrix. Slope of the directrix, this is your directrix y equal to minus x plus 2. So comparing it with y equal to mx plus c, what is the slope of the directrix? Minus 1. Now the axis is perpendicular to the directrix. So what will be slope of the axis? It will be 1. 3 minus 4 is a point on the axis because it's a focus. So now we have a point on the axis and the slope. So how can we write down the equation of the axis? Yes, it is y plus 4 equal to 1 into x minus 3. Simplifying you get y equal to x minus 7. Now we have this is the equation of the directrix to find the 
point of intersection of the directrix and axis, we solve equation of the directrix and equation of the axis together. So that is x plus y equal to 2 is the equation of the directrix. This is the equation of the axis minus x plus y equal to minus 7. How do we solve it? Use simultaneous equations, add both. So we get 2y is minus 5, y is minus 5 by 2 or x is 9 by 2. So your point of intersection is 9 by 2 minus 5 by 2. Now we use the midpoint formula to find the vertex. So your vertex will be 9 by 2 plus 3 by 2. What is the midpoint formula? x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2. So 9 by, t, 9 by 2 plus 3 by 2 and minus 5 by 2 minus 4 by 2. So it is 15 by 4 and minus 13 by 4. You have to practice to excel in maths. So pause the video at each step and take a pen and paper and work out the problem with me. The best way to learn maths is to practice maths. Coming to question 2, find the equation of the parabola whose vertex is at 3 minus 2 and focus is 6, 2. So your vertex is 3 minus 2, focus is 6, 2. So we first find the point where the focus, the line through the focus meets the directrix. So using midpoint formula, if I call this as AB, we get A plus 6 by 2 equal to 3, B plus 2 by 2 equal to minus 2. So A is 0, B is minus 6. So what is your point of intersection? 0 minus 6. So calculate the slope of the axis. We have one point on the axis already as 6, 2. And 3 minus 2 is another point. So how will you calculate the slope? y1 plus y2 by y1 minus y2 by x1 minus x2. So slope of the axis is 4 by 3. The directrix is perpendicular to the axis. So slope of the directrix is minus 3 by 4. Now how will you find the equation of the directrix? You have a point on the directrix and you have the slope. So equation will be y plus 6. What is the point? It is 0 minus 6. So it will be y plus 6 equal to minus 3 by 4 into x minus 0. What formula are we using? y minus y1 equal to m into x minus xy. So 4 into y plus 6 is minus 3x or simplifying you get 3x plus 4y plus 24 equal to 0. This is the equation of the directrix. Now start with let p x y be any point on the parabola and what formula do we use? Distance of p from the focus equal to distance of p from the directrix. Distance of p from the focus is square root of x minus 6 the whole squared plus y minus 2 the whole squared. And using the formula for distance of a point from a line, distance of p from the directrix is mod 3x plus 4y plus 24 by root of 9 plus 16. What do we do next? We square both sides. So x minus 6 the whole squared plus y minus 2 the whole squared is square of this. So we get x minus 6 the whole squared plus y minus 2 the whole squared is 3x plus 4y plus 24 the whole squared by 25. What is the next step? We cross multiply. So we get 25 into when we simplify and what do we do here? We expand it. a minus b the whole squared. So I get x squared minus 12x plus 36 plus y squared minus 4y plus 4. Here we use a plus b plus c the whole squared. So I get 9x squared plus 16y squared plus 576 plus 12 into 2, 24xy plus 24 into 4 into 2, 192y plus 24 into 3 into 2, 144x. So when you simplify, you get 16x squared plus 9y squared minus 444x minus 292y plus 424 equal to 0, which is the equation of the parabola. So we have learned how a parabola is a section of a conic distance of any point on the parabola from the focus equal to distance of that point from the directrix. We have learned about the vertex, focus, axis and directrix of the parabola. So do consider subscribing to my channel for more videos. I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you.